Hi, this is Dave Yonason, and this is a quick video to show you how you can log on if you have lost your password. Most people will access the database through the Icelandic Roots website. So this is www.icelandicroots.com, and on the top right-hand corner, there is a link to the member database. Once you're at the member database, there is a menu bar on the left, and at the top of that is an orange entry called Login. If you click on that, that will take you to the screen that you would normally use to log in. Here is where you'd specify your username and password if you knew it, and then you would get access to the database. But as we've said, uh, in this case, uh, you do not know your password. Uh, what you can then do is go down uh, below here and you'll see forgot username or password. And the instructions here are um, enter your email above and your username below to have your password reset. And a temporary password will be set to you. So the email is entered here, and I'll note that you have to use the same email that you used when you registered your account. Uh, and then the username uh, goes here. The username is case insensitive, which means it doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase, but the email um, is important. Now one of two things will happen when you hit this go. Uh, either you'll be warned that the um, email is not uh, the correct email for the username, uh, that you registered, um, or what'll happen is you'll get a message saying that the temporary password has been sent to you. Once you get the email, um, you can then use that up here. You've got the username which you knew and the password, and you will be able to log on. There will be a message which asks you to reset your password uh, to a permanent uh, password. Now, if you do not know your username, then you can enter your email and hit go here, and there'll be a message below uh, which you get, which uh, will tell you that an email has been sent to you with your username. So, uh, as I indicated, um, if you do not know either, um, it's a two-step process. The first step is to put your email in here and hit go, and you will get an email with your username. And then you put the email back in here and the user and hit go here, and now you'll get an email with your temporary password. So, good luck. Uh, hopefully, you won't have to use this uh, very often, but um, if you do need to do it, um, it's very nice to know that uh, you have self-service and you can get uh, the information when you need it. Thanks very much. Have a great day.